China and Cambodia have conducted joint exercises with combat robots for the first time. During the recent joint military exercises of the Chinese and Cambodian armed forces, soldiers from the PLA demonstrated the capabilities of quadrupedal robots, reminiscent of those from movies about a machine uprising. These robots were equipped with automatic rifles mounted on their backs. According to one of the servicemen, these robotic dogs are designed for urban combat operations. They can identify targets and open fire. Over 2,000 military personnel participated in the joint exercises between the PRC and the Kingdom of Cambodia at a training camp in the central province of Kampong Chenang and off the coast of province Kampong Saom. The exercises included 14 warships, two helicopters and 69 armored vehicles and tanks. The operations practiced included combat, counterterrorism, and rescue missions. The highlight of the program was the robotic dogs, quadrupedal machines operated remotely and equipped with automatic rifles. The Chinese robotic gun dog is based on the Unitree Go 2 Robodog, which can be purchased for $1,850 to $3,050 depending on the model. It is equipped with an ultra-wide LiDAR, a controller, and supports large language model AI functions. The robot weighs about 15 kilograms, with its body and limbs made from aluminum alloy and high-strength plastic. It can reach speeds of up to 3.5 meters per second, while carrying a load of up to 8 kilograms. The battery charge lasts for two hours. According to Cambodia's Chief of General Staff, Vong Pisan, the robots will enhance the defense capabilities of both armies in the fight against terrorism. The United States has decided not to lag behind their international counterparts and has also begun testing armed robotic dogs. The U.S. Marine Corps Forces Special Operations Command has started trials with robotic dogs armed with rifles. Onyx Industries, the company supplying the weapon systems for the robotic machines, confirmed that their products are being used by Marine Corps. Company representative Eric Schell noted that the Marines have two robots equipped with Onyx Sentry weapon systems, one with a 7.62 x 39mm caliber weapon and another with a 6.5mm Creedmoor rifle. According to Shell, the Marsoc robotic dogs perform tasks in confined spaces and provide perimeter security. The armed platforms are Vision 60 robots from Ghost Robotics Company. It is noted that such robotic dogs can be used in operations where conditions might threaten human life and can carry not only weapons, but also other useful payloads. But it's not only the military that has begun the widespread deployment of robotic dogs. The New York Police Department has also started the process of mass deployment of digi dog robots to patrol the city. Mayor Eric Adams is confident that technology on the streets is necessary to ensure people's safety. Therefore, DigiDog robots, manufactured by Boston Dynamics, will patrol the streets of New York. The mayor stated that the use of DigiDog can save lives. In his speech, he noted that certain activists were against this idea. Adams assured that he is seeking the best options for the city, which is why this decision was made. The initial use of these robots by the NYPD sparked a negative reaction from the public. In 2020, DigiDog was used by special services inside a building where an armed terrorist had barricaded himself. In 2021, the technology was also used in a case involving lawbreakers entering a home. Subsequently, the public criticized the use of such robots due to concerns about privacy violations. DigiDog, known as Spot, is remotely controlled and developed by Boston Dynamics, which is owned by Hyundai. It is used for activities in dangerous situations, checking high-risk zones and locations for human threats. It also conducts precise monitoring of construction sites. Boston Dynamics promotes its use as a public safety tool, though many experts criticize it as a potential danger to humanity. But it's not just robotic dogs that will be patrolling the streets of New York. The legless and armless police robot K5 is also serving near the Times Square subway station in New York. The New York Police Department has initiated a rather unusual experiment. The K5 robot developed by Nightscope will start patrolling one of the local subway stations. Unlike the police robots from movies, it has neither arms nor legs. 
Some local civil rights advocates have already dubbed it a trash can on wheels. The machine, designed to protect people, weighs 190 kilograms, but it not only lacks limbs, it also misses some important functions. During the presentation, it was mentioned that the robot can record video for review in case of an emergency or if a crime occurs at the station. It is reported that the city rents the K-5 for $9 per hour, which is considered a good deal since the fee is lower than the city's minimum wage for humans. Moreover, the robot does not need to take breaks for restroom visits or meals and can dedicate all its time to patrolling. Another military development from the USA is a compact tactical drone that is of interest not only to the military, but also to the police. It can be useful for searching premises, negotiating with criminals and inspecting suspicious objects. The drone weighs 1.1 kilogram and is equipped with a replaceable hybrid camera, effective even in the dark, and a microphone. Additionally, the drone can be quickly upgraded with features like a glass breaker and a tactical strobe light. The model can stay airborne for 31 minutes and comes with special goggles for first-person flight control. It has a maximum speed of 80 km per hour, and for slow indoor flights, it is aided by a LiDAR system and a feature that reorients the drone if it falls. The process of automation and robotization in all the world's armies is in full swing. Here is a Russian development a robotic turret that has already reached the bench testing stage. The turret can remember up to 10 targets and is ready to operate in autonomous mode or under operator control, including via a tablet or a smart glove. Israel is particularly interesting in terms of military developments. Recently, the country was the first in the world to deploy a smart swarm of drones controlled by artificial intelligence. This swarm helped detect, identify, and attack targets, with the operator only needing to indicate the direction and give commands. In today's lineup, we have a system capable of controlling such swarms, called Legion X. The Israeli solution is intriguing for several reasons. First, it is suitable for various types of unmanned systems, both ground and aerial. Second, its architecture is universal and open for modifications. Notably, it is compatible with the robot operating system. Third, depending on the models, the system can operate without GPS, which provides tactical superiority at all levels, according to the developers. The Israeli company Smart Shooter has developed a new counter drone system for the US military that combines a robotic combat module with radar. This smart system can also inflict both lethal and non-lethal injuries on people by targeting limbs and using low-power ammunition. The project was unveiled at the International Defense Exhibition 2023 in Abu Dhabi. The Smash Hopper is a multi-purpose, lightweight, remotely controlled combat module designed for autonomous gunfire, providing cover for soldiers, and destroying UAVs. According to the developers, it can be mounted on vehicles or tripods, and can be easily transferred from one platform to another. The company wanted to demonstrate that their creation could be less dangerous to humans when necessary. To achieve this, engineers added a less lethal mode to the smart system, where the robot is programmed to aim and hit only the lower parts of targets. This likely means that if a live soldier is targeted, the robot will aim for the legs to wound, but not kill. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.